day, y'all. Uh, today is a uh, happy Friday, and again, I want to say happy Friday to y'all. So let's get right to the end of the video. I'm just gonna keep that short and simple. Call her, call her until she fucking wake up, until she come to her senses. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing. That is her fucking number. Jasmine, I already fucking told you to fucking call me. You did not, did not call me. All I wanted to do is see my fucking daughter. You didn't answer the phone. Now you're gonna answer the phone for these 17,000 motherfucking people in this bitch. I'm gonna call her a million fucking times today, bro. A million fucking times. Times she had that number since middle school. I would not have did that if all you had to do was fucking call me. All I wanted to do was see my daughter. Expose her like that, man. All I wanted to do was see my daughter. Okay, first off, like it's late. I know it's probably late in some place somewhere around in Orlando, Orlando or Tampa, wherever the fuck Jasmine is. But like then again, why are you going to wake wake her up knowing that your kid's sleeping and you want to see her? Like, bro, you. You have a car and I see her there. I mean, you don't have to interrupt her sleep and some shit like that. Like, like who does that shit? Honestly, like, if I had a child and then he or she was somewhere in a different state, I'm in like, I don't know, I'm in fucking California, and I'm I'm just literally spamming and bashing the mother of my child doing that. Nah, I'm not doing that shit. I'm making sure that they get sleep because sleep is important, yo. Like that shit, man. To, I don't even know what the fuck to say. Honestly, like, <sighs> man, it's a disappointment. You thought I was playing with you. I sent you. I sent you everything you needed to see. You knew what time I was getting to Orlando. I don't give a fuck what time it is. I don't give a fuck if it's five o'clock in the morning. If it was the other way around. If this was the other way around, right? This is the funny thing about it. If this was me on the other side and I wasn't allowing her to see her daughter. Fredo's the worst person in the world, but now because Jasmine's not allowed, the father now is gonna be some bullshit. I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck that shit. The number is right there. Y'all call that shit all fucking night long. Spam her fucking text messages all fucking night long. I don't give a fuck. I don't care no more. I do not care. I'm not playing with niggas no more. Y'all say y'all want that old Fredo, but as soon as the old Fredo come out, y'all niggas can't handle this shit. So I'm just gonna do what the fuck I wanna do. This is what the fuck I wanna do, I'm doing it. That's her fucking number. Call and I don't give a fuck. Call, 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 call. She pro First off, who the fuck would do this? Like anybody, like would y'all do this to or your baby mama or your baby daddy? Like, come on man, I know damn well for a fact that that's just really fucked up. And on top of that too, that's really embarrassing to see. Um, Pretty boy Fredo exposes his ex-girlfriend like that just because of his daughter. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I remember watching this nigga in high school, 10th grade, playing fucking 2K16 and shit. Now the niggas just acting mad different. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I know that watching watching McQueen called him a crackhead. And like, uh, it doesn't really make any sense to me at all. Like, why are you doing that, bro? Like, why exactly? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that you can't be disrespecting somebody like that if they have your child. And you doing that, that's beyond disrespectful. Calling her bitches and shit like that. And then talking about all, type, all types of shit. Like, that's completely fucked up, honestly. And I feel like and when people respect you more, then don't bash women in. Especially since you're calling people bitches, you're also precluding your mother in that fact as well, too. Your adopted mother, sorry, not your biological mother. Um, yeah. Probably got her phone on Do Not Disturb now. Text her, blow up her fucking shit. That's what she do. Yeah, she got that shit 32124. Oh. <laughs> so, hold on. Did he get the number wrong, or... Is he, but I think he got the number wrong because, like, as he was reading that part, I don't know. Let me play that shit back one more time. One, two, four, oh. <laughs> yeah, he got the number wrong. <laughs> wow, he got the fucking number wrong. Hey, I was just making sure that's the right number. That is the right number. Okay. Call her, call her, 
call her. It does work. Uh, it does work. She probably on the phone with fucking T-Mobile. Oh, bruh. Honestly, she probably on the phone with T-Mobile. She probably did that shit. And if you did that shit, you a sucker. You a sucker. Jasmine. <laughs> bruh, it's been over a year, my nigga. Like, give it up, bruh. And it's the crazy. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. This the, is the, this the crazy thing about Jasmine. Let me tell y'all the crazy thing about Jasmine. This is the crazy thing about Jasmine. I put you in position to be whatever the fuck you want. You want to have this long, luxurious life? Let's do it. I'm here. I'm for it. If she don't want that, that's not my problem. Don't be mad if another I won't. So how the, how the fuck am I going to be with somebody they don't want the shit that I want? You don't want the shit that I want. You don't want the shit that I want. That's the crazy thing about it, bro. I get blamed for fucking everything, dog. It's always my fault. I mean, nine times out of ten, sometimes it's your fault, sometimes it isn't. But this shit right here, <laughs> that, this is definitely your fault. Leaking Jasmine's number just because you can go see, just so that you want your daughter to wake up to see you, like, bro, like that's a crazy shit. Excuse me, I'm just waking up myself, y'all. I, I apologize. But that's some stupid shit to do. Like, who in the right mind is going to do that? Like, I get that you want to see your daughter so badly, but bro, just chill with that shit. Like, you're exposing the fuck out of her. Hell, you're even trolling her ass, my nigga. Like, don't do that, cuz. Like, why you doing that shit, bro? Like, it's it's really unfair, man. It's like, it's really completely fucked up what you're doing to her, especially to the person that you love. Well, I don't know, love or not love, I, I really don't fucking know. Let's keep playing the video. Oh, I swear to God, it's always my fault. It's always Fredo's fault. Fredo did this, Fredo did that. It's always my fault. I ain't never met a woman that lost a good nigga. Never. Y'all tell me right now. Have y'all ever met a woman that lost a good nigga? <laughs> has any woman has ever said that? Ever? Answer that question right now. Have y'all ever heard a woman say that, bro? I ain't never heard a woman say that shit. Never. Never in my entire fucking life have I ever heard that shit, bro. Never. I ain't never heard a woman say she lost a good man. Ever. It's always the man fault. It's always the man fault. Every single time. The nigga did this. The nigga did that. Okay, that part is true. I kind of I kind of want to agree with Fred on that part. As well as sometimes women do always, like, complain. But then again, it's sometimes our fault. And sometimes it's fault as well, too. So it's both sides that we, they need to work on. Because this generation is so fucked up. Like, literally, it's fucked up because... People get in short relationships. Next thing you know, start leaving the test, cheating, lying. Um, to, but at the end of the day, you want to look at it like this. You're young. You don't know exactly how relationships work properly. You, know, you just want to be free and have fun. And like, We all get that. We all get that too. But like that again, it's nobody's fault, really. It's basically because we get corrupted and we start to see things differently by a lot of things because we just want more. Because when it comes to a man, men just want more power and more respect. So that's why I feel like, in my opinion, I'm not saying this is facts, but this is in my opinion, that um, that we just basically do that shit so just we can get respect, honestly. Like, I don't know if that happened to y'all, but if I'm just speaking on my behalf, because that kind of ha that basically happened to me with someone I knew. I'm not going to say her name, but yeah, that's how it basically happened to me. And... Now I think about it, it was kind of good that it kind of happened because I felt like I was getting distracted a lot. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. You can't really go back in time and change it. Unless you can, man. unless they made something like that. But, but yeah, it is what it is. Just move forward and just experience life, change life lesson, play the video. The nigga did this, the nigga did that. All right, man. I don't care to be glorified about the good shit that I do, but if I want to see my daughter, let me see my motherfucking daughter. That's it. This is the type of time I'm on. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing with this shit no fucking 
Mo, and you know what's the crazy thing about this shit? I'm gonna tell y'all the crazy thing about this shit. She live right around the corner from me now, bro. She right around the block. So I'm about to go to sleep right now in the bed. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep right now, knowing that my daughter is like two minutes away from me. And that's some fuck. How the fuck this nigga doing this? The fuck? I don't understand that shit. Like, he dies to me. Just let her sleep. Like, if I was a kid, I'd be like, no, I'm going back to sleep. Like, fuck you. I can see you tomorrow morning. Like, who does that? Like, bro. Fredo, man, come on, bro. You don't want to act like this. Like, why are you doing this, bro? Like, Jasmine, you think that Jasmine is like a bad person? Like, nah, like, She's not a bad person. She's just doing what feels like what's right in her heart. And she's just seeing you as it's one. You leaked her number. Two, you're talking about all this crazy shit. Three, <laughs> you just literally Instagram and all types of shit, really, just to get more attention. Like Ashley said, this is a 13 on side of a grown man's body. So, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it's just hard to explain, really. Because for me, I grew up watching Brick Boy Fred up from. 10th grade all uh, to my junior year of college. Like, it's just really crazy to see someone change that, like, that quick. Like, I went from 10th grade to junior year of college, like, that quick. I'm talking about zero to 100 Drake real quick. You feel me? So it's like, I'm just completely, like, really disgusted by his behavior. Damn shameful. Fuck like shit. That's some fuck like shit, bro. That's some shit. All I want to see is my daughter. Y'all call that number all night long. Call that shit all day tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I want to pull up on her, but the thing about it is, though, I have a lot of anger inside of me right now because all I want to do is see my daughter. So I'm lying in my sight right now. When it comes to my daughter, I don't play about that shit. I will fuck everything up, I swear to God. I swear to God. Now let me let me say something to y'all. I know I wanna see you fuck shit up. Like I really wanna see you do so because I hate like one thing that here I know that here in Boston, like people when they say like, oh I will fuck shit up, they don't normally do it. But outside the states, there's some people that can't do it. So for Fredo, I wanna see if he can I wanna see if I'm actually better than like, <laughs> No bullshit. I actually do wanna see him do that shit, which is very fucking funny. Like Dead ass, dead ass. I don't want to see him. But then again, not. Nah, I ain't gonna fucking. I I'm not persuading him. I'm not persuading y'all to see this. See him fuck shit up with Jasmine. But I'm just saying as like a side joke. You know what I mean? So yeah. Oh, as well, bro. I know y'all need screen recording shit. All right. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm gonna be honest with y'all niggas. I don't have no bitches. I swear to God on my entire life. I don't have no bitches around my daughter. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know about that one, bro. Like, I do not know about that one. I don't know for sure, honestly. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know. I mean, then again, you could be telling the truth. Then you're not. For me, in my opinion, that is. I don't really know. I don't really care. Your life is your life. That's it. Ever. Ever. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. There was one girl in particular. I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas. I'm gonna keep it honest with y'all. It was one girl in particular because... Man, fuck this shit. The fuck? Fuck this shit. You know what? Because I'm about to say some shit right now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say it. I really don't know. Like, don't hold it back. Say it in your fucking chest. Like, that ass. Like, say it in your motherfucking chest. Say it with it. Like, don't hold it in. <laughs> Just say it. I don't know if I want to say it. Man, fuck this shit. I'm going to say it. Y'all tell me to say it. I'm going to say it. Say, say it. I'm going to say it. Because... I don't know if that's a good decision. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good decision. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good decision. 
Yeah, just say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, man. I'm about to be honest with y'all right now. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. The reason why y'all really see me going crazy right now, like, as far as, like, female-wise, like, really fucking bitches right now, I was. <laughs> it's at the tip of my tongue. It's at the tip of my tongue. Sneak it alive, so I don't know if you want to go look at that shit. <laughs> it's a. Uh, you know, that's like a fucking hyena, bro. You know, the motherfucker when they're killing other animals and just like, like, <laughs> like bro. <laughs> that's what that nigga reminds me of, don't bullshit. The tip of my tongue. You did the tip of my tongue. I was. in a low-key relationship with a female. For, so for this past year, I've been in a relationship <laughs> with another girl. The reason why I kept it from you guys, the reason why I kept it from YouTube, is because when that whole shit happened with Jasmine, y'all threw it in my face. And what I didn't want to happen again, I didn't want y'all to throw it in my face again. Whether it worked out with this girl or not, I didn't want it to, I didn't want y'all to throw it in my face. I was being respectful and cool. Long story short, <clears throat> long story short, I still fuck with her. I don't know, I don't necessarily know if she fuck with me. Only because, like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm really wild. Like, as far as, like, how I be living, I be wild as fuck. Hell yeah, you are I'll be, be on some wild boy shit, but that's because of a whole nother situation. But long story short, I was in a relationship, and I wasn't doing shit with no females, I wasn't talking to no females, nothing. It wasn't up until, like, months ago. It wasn't up until months ago. Months ago, you know, shit got fucked up, shit ended. So that's why now y'all seeing Fredo going crazy. Now that's why y'all see me going crazy. I wasn't doing none of this shit before because I was actually in a relationship. I was in a relationship. I just never showed her because I learned like with YouTube, you just can't, bruh. You just can't. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. That put a lot of stress on me because hiding something for so long, it's like when you're a vlogger, when you're like a lifestyle vlogger, and you're hiding something in your daily life, it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up. Because then I can't post shit the way I want to post it. And then I just told myself after that shit, I'm like, I'm not doing that no more. I'm not hiding shit because I need to hide it. All I need to know is that my daughter always comes first and no bitch ain't gonna be around my daughter. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care who I'm fucking, I don't care who's sucking my dick. None of you hoes ain't gonna ever see my daughter, ever. Respect. That's respect, but then again, don't want no call women bitches. <laughs> like, there's bitches and there's hoes. There's women and hoes. Sorry, I don't mean to say bitches. But there's women and hoes. Hoes are the ones you call bitches. Women are the ones that are highly respectable and will do anything for you. Hoes are just sucking fucking the lead to go to the next sucking fuck with them. That's basically it. So, hoes. Okay. This is one thing because I have this. This is always because they have to play shit in my hands. I'm not putting no bitch around my fucking daughter and nobody gonna mother my daughter other than her. <laughs> why, why the fuck so much RIP Pop Smoke? My nigga, this summer ration has this is like this is a dude roasting his baby mama and you want to go out and say RIP Pop Smoke. Like, what the f Yo, shut up, man. Some people are really retarded on fucking you. Yeah. Hell, even on YouTube too. Like, God damn. I met some dumbass people. I've never seen some dumbass niggas like quote some shit in my entire life. Put on fucking thunder red says and it says R P pop smoke. Get the fuck out of here. Supposed to be a wool star, nigga. Got no fucking thunder emoji. What what's what the fuck? GMB? I don't know, GMB, suck a dick. Mother and I swear to God, and I'm just Jasmine. I'm telling you, and no nigga gonna father my daughter except her motherfucking father. It's that's it, because like I will whoop <laughs> a nigga ass, and that's on everything it's I love. Because I'm a great father, and I take that shit serious. But I, there's no bitch that will ever be around my daughter, and I respect that. I respect that. I, I like Jasmine told me that's what she wanted. 
That's her one wish for me, and she got that. I don't have no whore. I need to see my fucking daughter. I want to see my fucking daughter. And that's what it is, bruh. And that's just me being, you know what? Being honest with y'all. Because I need to be honest with y'all. That's why, like, me in a relationship with all these, that's why I ain't really been showing shit, like, with me with no bitches, because I was in a whole relationship with girl is. Do I love that girl? Yes, I love that fucking girl. Whoever that girl is, somehow, some way, you gon' see this shit. I already know, because you be stalking on the low key. Whoever that girl is, I fucking love you to death. I love you to death. I'm dead, bro. <laughs> How you gonna bash your baby mama and say to the girl that you're messing with, I love you to death, even though you're disrespecting her as well by calling bitches, calling bitches, including her as a bitch. Like, it doesn't make any sense how people could come up with a claim and then just try to think that they're right because they believe that in their opinion, they are right. No, it's not. There's two things different between, like I said, there's hoes and there's women, okay? Two things different, all right? Women's are, like, a woman will be down for no matter if you're wrong or right, or if you are getting laughed at um, to the point where you feel like giving up. Hoes are just dead and just sucking fuck. They're like the goopy thing. Like, you smash them, you pass them, you give it to your homeboy, you smash them, pass. Next thing you know, they're gonna become the whole fucking fuck sign symbol for the track team or ball team. That's it. That's all there is to it for hoes. Like, they can suck and fuck all they want to until they catch STDs. Or HIV or some shit like that. That's when you're gonna be fucking laughing about them, and it's gonna, they're gonna feel some type of way. But women, they would never do that to a real nigga that would do that shit. Because honestly, I would not say Fredo is a real ass nigga. Like he's real. Like don't get me wrong. Like the shit that he's done, like help people out, like with their with their jobs, make them quit and give them money just so that they can support themselves and start a career of their own. I respect that. But overall, the shit that you're doing up to now, like, bro, it's not like. It doesn't really make any sense to do all this extra crazy shit along with your boys just degrading women like i don't know man like it doesn't really make any sense to me to do something like that to someone i know because then again they're gonna hate me more for doing that to them and exposing it on social media and make them look like a fucking bum so that point being said <laughs> i don't know man like <laughs> Fredo is really a funny character. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that means we're here. Shit. <laughs> I love you. I actually really love you. Will we be together? Probably not. Probably not, because you you crazy as hell. This girl fucking crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, she crazy. But I do love you, I do love you. We just, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just cooling. Yeah, y'all saying what's up to YouTube. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube. I'm on that bitch right now, because I don't give a fuck. I'm in, I'm in I don't give a fuck hours, because now I'm just mad. I'm just mad. I'm just fucking mad. All I wanted to do is see my daughter when I got home. That's all I wanted to do. I am, like, and when I'm here in Orlando, I told myself this, if I go to New York, if I go to New York for three weeks and then I come back to Orlando, I'm about to be in Orlando for three fucking weeks, all right? I don't want to do nothing but be with my daughter every fucking minute, every second. Every fucking minute, every second, that's all I want to do. I don't want to do shit else. I don't want to see none of you bitches while I'm here. I don't want to see no niggas while I'm here. I don't want to do nothing. Yeah, bro. I just hate when people just use the word bitch. Like, just say, I don't want to see none of these dirty females or none of these hoes. Like, that's, that's all you have to say. It's some, like, some, not all women, are, not some, not all girls are hoes. It just depends on some how they're brought up. It's just in my opinion. I don't know. You can go ahead on the comment down below and try to see if you can agree with me or disagree with me. I don't care. But all I know is that you don't call women bitches at all, you don't call girls bitches. None of that stuff. If they're hoes, it's um, thoughts. If they're women, just call them as women. That's all I have to say. None of that. Fuck all of y'all. The only thing I want when I'm here in Orlando is my fucking daughter. That's it. I made that clear to Jasmine when I got here. And when I got here, I'm not seeing my daughter. That's a problem. That's a problem for me. That's a problem. Because now 
she just using my child as a pawn to do what she want because she know otherwise she can't use that pussy no more. I'm like that them, them, them days of holding that holding that pussy over my head. This shit over with. Shit over with. I'm past that shit. I'm past that shit, bro. I'm dead, bro. But yeah, man, I was in the whole. This nigga just said that pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, he gotta be wrecked to say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh man. Like, what's good with you? Talk about Jasmine's pussy, like <laughs> that is so wrecked. Like, who the fuck would cut like say that like the pussy days are over? So you say that her shit's trash? Like, wow, my nigga, wow, that's so fucked up. Honestly, that's really fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, that's so fucked up to say that to somebody. Like, the pussy days are over, bro. Like, yeah, and it's done. Like, that's just done, locked. Set and deal, sign, trade, like all that shit, like it's gone, finito, bye bye. Like, that's fucked. That's fucked up, obviously. Whole fucking relationship, bro. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't care, bro. I don't care no more. I care too much about that shit. I used to care what niggas think, and I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck all y'all niggas, for real. I don't care what no niggas say because I'm gonna tell you why. If you don't live your life the way you want to live it, what's the fucking purpose? What's the purpose? Niggas gonna hate you regardless. Niggas gonna hate on you regardless. Live your fucking. That's true. A lot of people do hate you regardless, despite how you act different around them because they want you to be in their group while you just be different and then just surround people who are different like you to be in your group. So that way you can gain. Like, that way you can just see yourself in a certain way. But some people will hate that because, no, they want you to act like this because they feel like it's right in their opinion. But technically, it's not true. Everyone follows everyone. Um, in my opinion, everyone follows everyone. There's always a group that does stupid shit. There's always a group that does not do stupid shit and that always does like silly things like normal people would do, which is like stay out at late nights, riding bikes, or joking around with your friends on the beach and shit like that. Or open late night, basically. But that doesn't do anything bad, necessarily bad, because it depends on who they are and what they look like. But yeah. In life, there's always a certain group that would judge the people that are different. So, like, I seen it, I seen it a bunch of times in high school, and it's cool, it's now in college. So, yeah, that's how it is. In life, do what you want to do. I learned that from so many people, and now I'm really living my life like the way I want to. A lot of people, they don't like that shit. They don't like that. They don't like to see people do stuff that they're afraid to do. Y'all motherf motherfuckers are afraid. Y'all afraid to live. Y'all afraid to live. Motherfuckers be like, yo, Fredo, how you got this? How you got how, how you got this? How you got that? Nigga, because I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid. I went out and I fucking got it. I didn't hold no, nothing over my head.
that I went out and I fucking got it. And that's it. And I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna keep continue to live my life the way that I wanna live it. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be just like the rest of these motherfuckers. I'm gonna be sad as hell, down as hell, wishing that I live my life the way that I want to. I live my life happily every single day because I know I'm doing exactly what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> Young Leo, R.I.P. Kobe, hashtag, hashtag 24 Mamba. Eh, I respect that, but this is not about you. It's not about Kobe. This is about Pretty Boy Fredo bashing his baby mama on fucking Instagram Live, saying that her pussy is expired, and talking about he wants to see his kid early in the fucking morning. Like, bro, come on. Don't, no disrespect to you, Young Leo on Instagram, but like, or the, or the late Kobe Bryant. But this this shit right here is about principle, it's about respect from this nigga that he has to get to his baby mama. Like, straight up, like, t- I, I ain't gonna like go in on this one, but yeah, y'all know the whole deal with what's about. The only thing that ain't making me happy right now is not seeing my daughter, and rightfully so. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all them niggas. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Fuck all these niggas, man. Fuck all these niggas. We need- That's facts. Fuck all y'all. Like, just point your own. Fuck all y'all. Like, literally. Those of you who talk shit, don't talk shit. Or just literally, like, go behind someone's back and whatnot. Like, knowing that you know that person since day one. Fuck all y'all. Like, enjoy your life. That's what anybody would say. Which is technically true. What's coming out of friends' mouth. Enjoy your life. You don't care what other people say, especially if you have friends that see it and have different opinions based off of stuff like that. You don't really care because you know the fact that your life where you want to be at, you just have to strive for it. You just have to work hard no matter what you do. So, that being said, yeah, just keep grinding, just keep working hard no matter what until the very, until the very end, until you achieve your goal. Because anybody can become anything. Like you can become a rapper, you can become a basketball player. Business person, a doctor, a lawyer, and this goes on and on. Like, I would fuck what you become. As long as you have that mindset to get to where you want to be at, go for it. Like, the, here, like, one thing that you have to be blessed about the US is that there's so much opportunities to strive for no matter what. It could be sports, it could be comedy, it could be entertainment, it could be music. Those four things that I just said can lead you to a point where you you will eventually become successful by the end of the day. Like, regardless or not, you're gonna be working off your fucking ass off just to get where you're at. And then one day you're gonna be talking to people about how did you get to this point? Or why, like, what made you cause all this? There's a lot of motivation behind all this stuff. So, what Fredo said, even though he's being a bitch right now and he's disrespecting his ex girlfriend, but he's saying some factual shit about how to live your life and don't care about other people's opinions. Hell. I don't even give a fuck about people's opinions. Why? Because I'm me. I don't really care. I just don't know them. I just live the life the way I want to. I'm a genuine person regardless. But nine times out of ten, if you get disrespectful of me, I'm gonna have to bring my other side out and just to fuck the worst one point. So yeah, just enjoy your life, live the way how you want to, and just be you. That's all I have to say. Because no one, no one's not gonna be the best version of you until you start to show that you're the version itself. So. Any nigga got anything to say, nigga, fuck you. You can't live this life for me. You paying my bills? You doing any of this shit that I'm doing? You, you handle this, you handling this stress that I got on my shoulders? You ain't. I gotta do it. At the end of the day, I gotta do it. Not, not the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta stop taking opinions from these fucking sheets, my nigga. It's so many people without credentials. It's so many people without success, <laughs> awards, plaques, but they have opinions. Why should I listen to them niggas? Why? Why should I listen to you? That's so true. Don't listen to people who talk about having a higher, like, have a higher low credit credentials. Oh, I have a car. Oh, what you have? Oh, I have this grade, I have that grade, like, all that shit, man, like, you don't need to listen to that, because you know where you want to be in life, you just need to work hard for it, like, in the, like, a person once told me, like, hard work does not come from watching someone be successful, it comes from you doing what you need to do that will make you be successful, and it's true, like, 
you just need to work hard. Like, you can be the most shittiest person on earth that people will make fun of you for the rest of your life, but you can turn it around quickly by putting a, hot, a lot of hard work and dedication. Like, like Fredo, for instance, he put a lot of hard work and dedication from starting off with 2K, and I respect that. And I started watching this nigga when I was in 10th grade just by playing 2K, like, talking shit on 2K, which is crazy. Up, like, up to now, like, I would say Fredo is one of my biggest role models that helped me, like, strive hard to, like, just change my whole, act, like, change my whole personality by becoming different, by learning different things, seeing different things, um, not experiencing different things, not, but, like, just seeing my whole aspect of how my mind can change from exactly within the whole course of years I've been living with. So, well, basically five years, perhaps five years, exactly. So, not even six, but yeah. Um, it, it, it's just kind of, it's kind of a shame to see someone um, that I used to grow up watching bash somebody's baby mama, like bash their baby mama, like fucking child over their pants based off like, oh, he's crazy to do some shit like that. It's just kind of fucked up. But then again, I don't know the whole truth behind it. Y'all don't know the whole truth behind it, so it is what it is, really. You just have to see what happens just to think on what your thing is. I mean, I don't know for sure what the fuck is going on, but I do know that you can't be calling women no. You disrespect them, and because they have your kid, you just can't. So let's continue. You have nothing but an opinion. <laughs> and nothing else, and that's why it doesn't matter, bro. Jasmine number is at the bottom of the screen. Call that shit all day long. All day long. I'm mad as hell. I really am. I'm mad as hell. I'm going to see my daughter. I'm going to be with my daughter for three weeks. I'm just mad, bro. I don't know. I, I don't know how she... I, I don't... Don't say I'm fried. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. And the only time I drink is on occasion, on social occasions. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't do any of that. It's not... I mean, yeah, he doesn't do drugs, but then again, you're acting fucking crazy off the dome. Like, you don't have to take drugs to just be fucking crazy. You can be crazy right off the bat. Like, just flat out PTSD, high kicking adrenaline, all types of shit. You don't need drugs to make you crazy. <laughs> you already got the crazy in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because, like, if people can create, like, people say some stupid shit, flip the switch. That's all I have to say. Who the fuck would leak out their fucking iCloud account? I'm wondering. Who would do that? Who would do that, honestly? Like, <laughs> you gotta be fucking dumb. Like, you want this nigga to hit you up? Like, bruh. Like, come on, man. Some people are really stupid. <laughs> Damn. Funny, bro. Y'all have never seen me smoking no shit on camera or nothing like that. That shit corny, bro. Like, no different. Sure, it is corny. I'm not gonna lie. Smoking weed, selling that shit, too, and trying to make a business out of it. Making a business out of it is fine, but, like, it, like I said, it's just fine, but um, just smoking it, so that's just fucking corny, man. Like, well, here people do that shit. Here, we're, out. we're in Boston, people do that shit for fun, like for attitude, kind of like living bullshit. And it's kind of stupid too, because like, what, what do you learn out of it? You just smoke out of it, your eyes, the fucking thing that's inside your brain. Like, you're killing cells in your mind, like in your brain, just so that you can be all of you, so that people can see you as a Nah, man. You can easily let go of that shit and then just, just be free of it. But some people don't, some people do it. I'm just saying, sorry. Excuse me, sorry, yo. I'm still waking up. Yeah, man. Enjoy your life. Just enjoy it until the very end. Disrespect the people that smoke is cool, but that's just not my vibe. It's just not my vibe. I don't do drugs, I don't do none of that shit. If you see me, you know what I'm saying? I have good energy. I can just live. Like, I don't need to smoke. I can live off the energy. For real. I can just live off the energy that I have. I'm sorry, man. I'm just really, I'm just really mad, man. I'm really mad. Jasmine, you fucked up. You, you fucked up for this, bro. Y'all keep calling that number, right, man. Something. Someone said I thought you used to smoke weed. Nah, man. I ain't used to smoke weed. I, sm I obviously I have experimented, but I I don't smoke weed now. Like there's there's a difference of experimenting and you know smoking it <laughs> on a consistent basis. That's two different things, bro. 
What's the what? Oh, that's the chair, man. Yo, I'm black as fuck too, man. I just came from Cabo. I'm black as hell, bro. Yeah. I'm super black. Hot as fuck, man. I'm mad as fuck, bro. No cap. Man, anything else y'all want to know? Y'all niggas let me know right now. Y'all niggas let me know right now. Is there anything else y'all niggas want to know? Y'all niggas ask me right now. I will tell y'all niggas for real. Because I'm... I'm, I'm living. I'm living. I'm done. Yo, I'm black as hell. What the fuck, nigga? I look Haitian, man. Now I look fucking Dominican. <laughs> yeah, you said I look Haitian. Hell, yo. Anyone watching this, please comment down below and see how y'all feel about that. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. This nigga say he look like he's Haitian, look Dominican. <laughs> oh my god. Man, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck, my nigga? I look fucking Dominican. Nah, this shit don't look right, bro. Oh, I ain't fucking with this shit. And I'm sorry, now I got my nipples out, bro. I just can't. <laughs> <bro. laughs> Yo! I'm just, I'm just mad, bro. I'm just mad. I don't really give a fuck you, though. I ain't never been this mad. I'm really mad. I'm really mad. Somebody said, what's my ethnicity? My father is from Costa Rica, my biological father. Um, I have adopted parents though. Um, but my father is from Costa Rica. Yeah. But um, that number is Jasmine's number. Call that shit. For real. My dog is here. So what's <laughs> Change the number, lol. What's wrong with Haitian? <laughs> Yo, I'm dead, bro. Someone's getting fucking offensive. <laughs> AJ's here. By the way, a my parents take care of AJ when I'm not here. Okay? My parents take care of AJ when I'm not here. Bro, I look like shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I look like shit because I've been traveling for like... <laughs> Yeah, hello, got it all cool. I said, Yeah, hello, got it all cool. Yeah, man. Um, make sure to comment down below, hit that like button, press that notification up for any other new info, new videos, and content from me. And uh, this is from Beetle 99. This is.